Test. One, two, three. Test. You're live, brother. No shadow. Okay, we have uh, antique white. This is the finish going to go on. This is antique, and the walls are going to be Swiss coffee. I'm going to roll the finish, one coat, on the wall starting now. We're going to turn the roller sideways and get as close as possible to the ceiling. You need that. Then we do. And then we have a little bit of of uh, contrast with the color, the antique on the walls, and the Swiss coffee on the ceiling. And we have a little bit of a contrast for the color. Keep it and on the ceiling. The crown molding will be Swiss coffee also, which will offset the color of the walls. And what we have Put it by eyes. is a nice finish. Yeah. What's going on here? You haven't noticed we're putting the, the first coat of finished paint on the wall. And Jim just installed a PVA primer, the sealer, a universal primer on the walls. We spray textured the walls before that. And now he's putting a full coat of the finished paint. And what color did you say this was? It's antique white eggshell finish. That's antique. just what they decided to use. Antique We're in a kitchen white. and dinette area. We yeah, have antique house. white at home. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, Palm Springs tan. Oh yeah. Palm yeah. Springs tan was out there. Yeah. Yeah, I never the color. Oh. Now, do you have to cut this into the baseboard, Jim, this time? I'm just going to cut it, rough cut it in, and when I come back with the finished coat on the base, I'll, I'll just use the uh, brush and then follow the line and cut it in final on the base from the base paint, baseboard paint up to the. I'll cut that in, then just rough cut yeah. it in with the color. Okay, because this baseboard. It's going to be repainted, and that's why he's doing Yeah, the baseboard's going to be repainted, and I'm just going to brush a nice line right across the top of the base, because it'll be all sealed, and the paint will flow right across as I brush on with a good cut-in brush. I can make that line nice and clean, because yeah. i got a new surface to work with. Yeah. Same thing with the, with the door casing. That has not been painted before. That's MDF. They used a pre-primed MDF on the door casing. He's going to paint the that. Door casing was. Yeah, we got to get that around. Okay, he's got some masking tape up there, but he's going to paint that and cut that into yeah. the wall paints. So you always do your walls first, obviously. Yeah. Then you go back Finish and your paint trim. your door casings and your trim and cut yeah. in. So this this one, way. If he gets any of the wall paint on the, on there, he can wipe it off and then cut that back in with his right. finished paint on the on the baseboard. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can definitely see the color change from the primer dry. being white to the finish being antique white. Dude, so you're just this is the first coat. You're gonna put two coats on. And again, I see that you're not using an extension pole with your roller. Yeah, it's just too confined area here to okay. have a long pole. And you're a little bit taller than I am, and, and you seem to be able to reach the ceiling fairly close without yeah, getting up and down off the yeah, ladder. That's yeah. why I like to use a, a oh. little extension pole for myself or, yeah. or a broom handle, whatever. Exactly. And then when I'm, when I'm doing a different color on the lid, yeah. like we're having a white color, I'll turn the roller sideways like this and get as close as possible to the ceiling and then finish off cutting it in with a brush. Right. So you do. The closer you get with the roller, you have less area you have to brush. Yeah. But so, you did that pretty easy. Now, for a first timer, if yeah. their hand's not as steady as yours, if they haven't done it a while, yeah. I don't know if they should get up that close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like yeah, you, that just, you just got to be... Because you did that uh, pretty good. you got to be mindful of how close you are. And usually with a 9-inch roller, you have more control over the bigger roller to uh, uh, get as close as possible. Yeah. Now you're using... A lambskin roller for these walls, aren't you? Yes, sir. We got. Uh, you like that, don't you? Yeah, we've used it already 
two at a time with the primer and the sealing paint. So with the same roller we're using, we okay. just do a quick, quick wash it out because, like I said earlier, the the paint releases from the rollers really quick. So yeah, it doesn't take you long to wash it out, and you have the same roller for all three. Finishes. And I'm glad you're re-explaining this because some people may have not seen you install the primer or yeah. install the finished paint on the ceiling. That's right. Yeah. If you haven't watched that, I've got videos of that on my YouTube channel too. You got to check that stuff out because we got Jim here. Yeah. He's a professional painter and he's showing us the professional way to paint walls and trim and all that. Now I've showed you other ways on how I've done it. You might get if you've seen me do some paint and you thought, oh, you know, I'm just going to do it the way Joe says, well, we're getting Jim here to show us some other tips and techniques you might not have learned from video Joe. That's me from the videos that I did. No, you have. And I want to just let you know, hey, I always say if Joe can do it, you can do it. But in this case, if Jim right here can do it, you can do it too. Yeah. Right, Jim? That's right. You know, you just got to be patient and don't be afraid of doing a project. Even for a first timer or somebody who hasn't had that much experience, right. you, you don't have to go as fast as Jim. But Jim, you are saying they should be able to do this too, right? Absolutely. Just, uh, you know. Don't be afraid of doing a project, taking it on, just because it's something you haven't done before. You have to start sometime, you have to learn. So that's why I'm giving a little example here of uh, something that can be done by the homeowner. Yeah. 